So network growth is one of our network activity metrics that shows the number of new addresses that are created on a particular project's network. Basically, what this chart really shows is user adoption over time. It can be used to see when a project is gaining and also losing traction. And that is very important because that movement often correlates to the token's price movement as well. So how can you use this metric to your advantage? What can you use network growth for? Well, here we have a network growth graph for Aragon. Aragon is an ERC-20 project that lets people create and manage a decentralized organization on Ethereum. As you can see here, between July and December of 2017, the Aragon network was growing by anywhere between about 85 to almost 700 new addresses each day. And we can also see that the price, which is in green, has been following all along. It was just lagging a bit behind. Now, right around the start of 2018, the network growth slowly started to drop. And what this means, what this indicates, is that the Aragon user base was no longer able to sustain any future price growth because it was very deep at that point. Uh, and as we can see, that's exactly what happened. The price of Aragon was continuing to drop. We can see one more large incline here, and it actually correlates with another uh, increase in network growth, although much smaller. But other than that, it was all downhill. So really, network growth can be used as a solid price indicator, especially if you use it along our other network activity metrics, such as daily active addresses, to confirm uh, your